Good time. Yeah, yeah, it was great, yeah. Yeah, well, sorry to bring you back down to earth, but I'll have four pound of potatoes, please. Coming right up. So, you've got more shopping to do then, Carol? What? You've got more shopping to do? Um, yeah, yeah, just a bit. Well, why don't you leave your stuff in? You can come and pick it up later on. Right, thanks. I'll tell you what, I'll leave my stuff in and I'll pick it up later on. Yeah, that's what I just said. Morning. Hmm? What's up? Oh, I don't know, something odd just happened. What? There was a couple of blokes outside here a minute ago. Doing what? Well, watching me, I think. It's not surprising you're a bit uptight, what with the trial coming up so soon. Yeah, right. I'll tell you what, I'll keep my eyes peeled. If I see anyone acting strangely, I'll, I'll let you know, OK? Ah, don't worry. We're just imagining things. Still here, then? Yeah. Looks like it. Can't be an affair. I've been watching them. They haven't touched each other. You've been here hours. Weird, isn't it? Just yeah. sitting there. Pressure from the council. You know, I'm doing a traffic sense as part of the plans for pedestrianising bits of Walford. Yeah? Yeah. On the other end, could just be anybody. Ah, uh, Pat? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in. Has Lucy been good? Yeah? Uh, listen, do us a favour, will you? Don't let Lucy out of your sight today. No, sir, uh, nothing to panic about. I'll explain like... Oh, shit. It's not late, am I? No, no, I'm just anxious to get away, that's all. This is my niece, Mary. Great niece, actually. Mm -hmm. No need to wrap it in. Carol? Yeah, yeah, fine. Look, why don't you go and ask Mark if he can come with us? Okay. Right. Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah. I don't suppose you see any strange men hanging around here this morning, have you? No, why? Oh, no, nothing really. No, go on, go have your lunch. All right, I'll see you later then. Yeah, Oi! What? You've been parked here so long, your tyres are taking root. What are you doing? <laughs> and who are you exactly? Ian Bill. I own that place there in his chip shop. I mean, you've been parked here all morning. The mill machine is your business? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Parker, and this is Miss Mortimer from the DSS. We need to have a little chat. So, Alan Greatrex does work for you? Yeah. What's this about? Well, an oversight on his part. He keeps forgetting every time he signs on he's already got a job. <laughs> is that it? You find all this amusing, do you? Oh, I'm sorry. You'll need to answer some questions. You have a responsibility to check out your employees before you engage them. Yeah, sure. Anything you want. Any time you like, mate. You all right? Um, yeah, of course. I'm just sorting out your stuff. You looked really... What? Shocked. Well, you just made me jump. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's not your fault. Um, right, I'll just get your stuff bagged up. You all right, Carol? Oh! <gasps> yeah. yeah, OK. I'm fine, Mark, yeah. Cheers, see ya. Mrs. Jackson. Who are you? Just be quiet. Leave me alone. I think you should do as he says. What do you want? We want to walk you home. Make sure nothing happens to you on the <clears> way. Is this way? Uh, 25 Albert Square. I don't think so. No. Definitely this way. Which do say it for us? What? Make sure your boy doesn't testify. Be honest, Mum. He'll do what you tell him. And if we don't? You're a good-looking woman, you know. <laughs> It'd be a shame to change that. Boy says nothing. You don't go to the police. Otherwise, we'll be back again. Think about it, Mrs Jackson. Hey. Eh? Bye.